I already opened it. I'm so excited. Oh, look at this. Ooh, tires. Ooh, body. All I see is J Concept and Proline and products. Uh, RC car products. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, check these bad mamma jammas out. Ooh. Shit. These things are sexy. Oh. Oh, my God. There's two of them. Of course, you got to have a complete set, right? Only, what? $100? for these tires yep uh -huh. I'm gonna open them I'm gonna open them I'm gonna show you guys them let's keep going though let's keep going all right so this I think I've already showed you guys this before because I just so happen to have two of these now I like to buy everything in bulk like doubles right mainly what it is it's a skid a body skid protector for your body and I already bought one but I was like man I need two of these so I bought another one of these. That's what that is. These are the bodies. Not only, all right. Not only did I get mad because I wasted $35. That's how much each one of these bodies cost me. $35. This body was 35. This body was 35. And this body is 35. These two bodies, it's all the same. I bought the same body three times now reason being the first one did not come out the way like the back of the truck kind of came out the way i wanted it uh but then i i screwed up in several places and i was like all right well i'm gonna buy another one to redo and then i was like you know what if i screw it up i'm gonna have to buy another one so i just went ahead and bought two bodies and if you're wondering it's yeah, it's all the same body. That's what those two are, is these. So I'm just gonna try to repaint it, redo it right. Um, and hopefully I'll get some better luck out of it. Is there anything else in this box? Yeah, that's it, all right. Seen this yet? I'm still working on it. This is gonna be my tailgate pit stand. So you lay down the tailgate of your truck and this thing sits perfectly on your tailgate and it's going to come with everything you need to run an rc car right it'll have your tools it has your arma lights on it right your arma can lights you got your shock tower you got a power supply right here uh, you got like this carbon fiber thing in the back just to look cool and then on the front here it has my name can you see hamilton spray painted into it i I'll show it to you guys. There's a video coming on this separately. Oh, God, I love that smell. Oh, yeah. Smells like an RC. Smells like a hobby shop. Oh, I love that smell. Don't you love that smell? Like when you walk into a hobby shop and you're like, oh, God, I love the smell of like fresh RC cars. You know what I mean? Fresh tires. Just a... Oh yeah, oh, look at these. These are our new eight scale on-road tires. The reason being is because I always run these and I don't always need these. These are for off-road. I need something that's on-road. Boy, these tires are huge, bro. Like this is the stock Arma tire. Look at the difference. Can you see the difference? This tire is just significantly wider. I mean, it's way wider. That's good. That's what you want. You want a lot of traction. You could probably actually run these on the back and then a thinner set on the front. That would actually probably work pretty good for the street. A nice wide tire in the back and then a nice front grippy tire i'll actually have to try that uh put these in the back and these in the front see how that runs but anyway um yeah we're going to get this going <clears throat> i got a little bit more configuring to do i'm trying to figure out where the charger and stuff is going to sit but that's for a whole nother video this is a whole separate video uh but i'll get into that later this these tires though bro these tires are sick 
I like to put them on the car, but you can see that the car is currently disassembled. The reason for the car being disassembled, if you see here, this was the front stock shock tower, and this is our new Hot Bodies Racing front shock tower. We also bought the rear shock tower, Hot Racing shock tower. That will be in the mail here in a couple of days. He's bringing us more RC car stuff. I guarantee you these are my shocks right here, or uh, no, not the shocks. This is, hopefully this is the rear shock tower. Yeah, UPS. UPS already been by today. Now we got the post office. Awesome. Woo. What's up, brother? How you doing, mate? Nothing. We were just sitting here talking about you. Uh-oh, that's not good. Nah, it's all right. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I got a bail out here. I got another one for you back here in the back. Oh, you got one in the back for me? Damn, is all that mine? Yeah. Those are all parts for an RC car I'm building. Oh, okay. I got you, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's what all that is. Just parts for an RC car. I got another one back here. Really, dude. Come on. They don't like you. Oh, this this new thing they gave us, man. It's a, it's, it's a little bit of a <laughs> I got you. All right, brother. Let me see. We like boxes. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Please. There we go. All right, man. That's it. There you are, brother. Thanks, brother. Thank you, you too, man. You have a blessed day. Well, let's see what everything came. Oh, those are our Arma hinge pins. I've been buying, I've been buying, I have been buying spare parts left and right for this truck. Every chance I can get, I've been buying parts. This, this is a full screw piece set. They, perfect. I mean, it has every type of nut and bolt that you could want for your truck in this thing. I mean, it's like a 500 piece set. It comes with everything that you need everything I, i'll never have to buy another bolt screw anything again because i have in here oh this is the nitrous bottle yo yeah this is our little nitrous bottle you guys this is going to be so rad bro can you see it it says nos nitrous that's what this is it's a little nitrous bottle they do make these um, for RC cars, um, actual nitrous bottle kits. They call them boost bottles. Um, they don't really add nitrous into your system. Although there are kits that actually do inject um, CO2 or nitrous oxide into your systems. Um, I know guys that used to put them in their RC cars. It was a waste of time. Basically what I want to do is see how it comes with that little bracket. Once I'm done fully painting this one of these bodies to perfection i will then take this nitrous kit and add like nitrous bottle to the back here or maybe i'll put it like in the back like so or in the upright you know what i mean it'll look awesome it'll look like i have a little nitrous bottle sitting in the back right that's what this is for this is awesome that's just for a little detail all right moving on to more better important things yes Remember, I was just sitting here telling you guys this. Remember, I was, ah, dang, I just sat here and told y'all about this. I was like, we just installed the front one. We're waiting on the rear one. Boom, look what arrived. The rear shock tower. Awesome sauce. Dude, my truck is gonna look like a boss, bro. All, car, all carbon fiber, all aluminum, with these badass looking series race tires. Dude, just look at that. Just look at that. I know, oh Jesus, it's gonna be so sexy. Yes, 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 yes. Woo, this is gonna be awesome. Look at all this shit, bro. Woo. Okay, RC car stand. And the special request is that it says my last name, Hamilton. I think the guy did an outstanding job. See, look, my last name, Hamilton. On this, 
Hamilton, H-A-M-I-L-T-O-N. He spelled it right, too. Good deal. Oh, check that out. The front of it says armor on it, too. Oh, dude, this thing is sweet looking. Yeah, he did a great job on it. He told me that the top piece takes three to four hours to print and these bottom pieces or the legs uh, take two to three hours. So it's like four to six on the top and three hours on the bottom because he has to print one and then print another one. It looks like it looks like when it printed it, it did it. I was hoping that it that it was a clean print. I don't know what kind of 3D printer he's using to get it done, but it looks it looks clean. But anyway, yeah, this is our new RC car stand for our RC cars. It's for you know one eight scale, and it says my name on it, Hamilton. The nitrous bottle. See, I want it to look like you're going to use it, so I'm thinking about putting it here, or I can put it on the back and mount it like that, and then run the little hose to it, so that way it looks like the truck has nitrous. I don't know, I think like that would probably be more predominant. Front shock tower, and there's the rear shock tower looking good the good news is is that if I bend these up or damage them I have a backup so that's what I'm doing now installing these